This example preliminary shows the idea of self-balancing. The incorporation between the accelerometer gyroscope MPU6050 and DC motors is demonstrated. Clibo C6 swings about the balance point. Please keep both hands holding Clibo C6 all the time during this experiment as the current sketch is unable to self-balance Clibo C6. The true self-balancing will be introduced in C6.3.7 experiment. At the beginning, the MPU6050 and LCD are initialized. And then the calibration function is called to sample the MPU6050 for 20 times. The first 10 samples are abandoned as the unreliable data output from the MPU6050 during the startup due to sensor limitations. The last 10 pitch samples will be accumulated in cal pitch variable. The LCD shows a sand glass animation while sampling. After the sampling, cal pitch is divided by 10 to get the average initial pitch angle, and then shown on the LCD. Because our hand holding Clibo C6 will maintain the balance position constantly during the calibration, there is a slight variation of pitch between each sample. The averaging of 10 samples will produce an initial pitch angle which close to the balance position. The initial pitch angle is stored in cal pitch variable. Loop function measures the pitch of Clibo C6. LCD incline function is called to show any pitch variable, which is the difference between the current pitch and initial pitch. Then, motor adjust function is called to determine if the difference in the pitch is greater than 2. It means that Clibo C6 tends to fall backwards. So, the two wheels rotate backwards to compensate the falling. While if the difference in the pitch is less than minus 2, it means that Clibo C6 tends to fall forward. So the two wheels rotate for wall to compensate the falling. One should be noted that this experiment is an initial trial of self-balancing. We need more complex detection and process steps to increase the robustness of the code to enable Clibo C6 to self-balance, which will be introduced after C6.3.7.